beginning in iOS 5 and extending in iOS 6, Apple made it easy to share data to email and to social networks. We're going to take a look first at the generic mechanism for sharing and then the specific mechanisms for setting up tweets to Twitter and status updates to Facebook. So we've simply created a simple single view application with a button that says post to social network, a button that says tweet, and a button that says Facebook update. Let's take a look at how it works first and then we'll dig into the code. When we use the generic post to social network, you can see that it shows you mail, Twitter, Facebook, Weibo, and copy. It actually copies it to the clipboard that allows you to share whatever data is being shared. The code in your application determines what text and what images get shared. In our case, you'll see some messages back here in the log because on the simulator, there's no mail applications set up. If we try to use Twitter, it'll bring this up, but it'll also tell us we have no Twitter accounts. But if you run this on a device and you have a Twitter account set up and or a Facebook account set up, you'll actually be able to run this. If we click Tweet, we go directly to the Tweet user interface. Or if we click Facebook Update, we go directly to the Facebook status update. As I mentioned, for each one of these, you can pass in a string. You can also pass in an image. So you could have the user take a picture from the camera. You could have the user grab a picture from their camera roll and so forth. So let's take a look at how these mechanisms work behind the scenes. So many apps today use social networking or email that you don't even have to include a new framework in order to be able to use this. All you have to do is import social slash social dot h and you're all set to go. So let's take a look at our three methods. First is post to social network. What we do is we set up the text to post. If we had an image, we'd set it up here and then you set up an array of items to post. Now for these things, the array usually consists of a string and an image. In our case, we just have a single string. In order to access that generic interface, which shows you mail, Twitter, Facebook, Weibo, and Clipboard, you use something called UI Activity View Controller. So we allocate a UI Activity View Controller, and knit it with our array of activity items, and then just call Present View Controller, and everything in the operating system handles the rest. When we want to get a little more sophisticated and be specific saying, no, this is a tweet or a Facebook status update, you use something called the SL Compose View Controller. And you pass in to this method under Compose View Controller for service type, which type of service you want. And so if we look at this SL service type, we can pass in Twitter, Weibo, or Facebook. In this case, we passed in Twitter. And then you set up this the same way you did before except that it has methods instead of passing in an array as we did to UI Activity View Controller. It has specific methods for setting initial text and setting image. In our case, we also provided a URL, provided a link in our tweet. And then we called Present View Controller as we did before with the UI Activity View Controller. Similarly, for Facebook, we do the same thing. We call SL Compose View Controller, Compose View Controller for service and pass in SL Service Type Facebook. We set the initial text, we set the URL, and we call Present View Controller. And that's how easy it is to get social in your iOS apps.